Hey everybody, back again. Sorry I took this past week off. I moved some stuff around, man, and I had no idea whatsoever I did with my memory card. So, major issue. And again, this coronavirus that's going around has really made me have to change some stuff up. So you can see I've got a lot more lighting. I'm like right up against the glass window. Let's get into this week's review. We're getting back into viewer-inspired rations. This was sent to me by none other than Kaylin Strain. Kaylin, she is a regular on Old Smokey's live streams. Thank you very much, Kaylin. I super appreciate it. And you can see the effort that she went to. This is like a legit clear MRE bag. Absolutely awesome. I don't know how she did. I don't know where she got it, but I would love to get some of these cool things too. And she said that this is goodies from around the world. So it's not strictly things that uh, she picked up at the local grocery store. Well, let's bust into this thing. Again, right off the bat, you got a peelable seal. We will try our luck. <laughs> that was the easiest peelable seal I think I've ever done. Take everything out right here. I can see I got some neat kind of components in here. I see something from like Emory Nation as well. But of course, we've got some awesome stuff from France. It's like pork cheeks with like ravioli. See, so you got a little bit of carrot in there too. Mm, that should be pretty tasty. 300 grams of that. And here we've got some Turkish soup. It looks like a little bit of tomato and some other stuff in there. Definitely, you see some Roma tomato. Some multi-grain dark bread. That should be pretty neat. I don't think I've ever had that before. Neat little kind of accessory packet. I know I like spicy guys, but I think this is the first time I've ever seen Mexican jalapeno peanut M&Ms. Wow. <laughs> Getting some like Russian peanuts or something like that. That's pretty cool. Canadian hot beverage bag. And one of these like real chewing gums. This comes like out of uh, Norwegian rations. That is really cool. And then this, this was awesome. See, this got a little foreign MRE. This has to be one of their cool sporks. And I think it is. It is. I've always wanted one of these. Art and Nina, they are totally awesome. In fact, they've got some new product on their website that I'm looking forward to get. I've always wanted to get one of those brand new kind of first strike rations. So I'll be giving them a shout real quick. Oh, they got a bunch of other goodies. You get some Spanish toilet paper. That's pretty high speed. Coffee and some creamer. Some more chewing gum. You, you get some Spanish. That isotonic powder. Smooth peanut butter. This comes like out of British uh, rations. ORPs. Taco sauce. Can't go wrong with that. Moist towelette. And then it looks like we get some herbal Russian tea. Mint flavor hot chocolate drink from the UK. Salt and pepper. Pepper, pepper. Oh, that's sugar. My bad. French strawberry jam. And lastly, a peach iced tea drink. Pretty cool. Kayla, this is absolutely awesome. I think what we'll do, we'll actually get this little soup made up. And we'll do our, our pork cheeks with raviolis. Heck, we'll do this too. What the heck not? And I'm going to try some tea. And, of course, I know you all are dying to get my impression of these. So let's get this stuff on a tray. We did that just so we can get this to steep. This is going to take the longest time. I've never had, well, at least I don't recall having some hibiscus tea. So this should be interesting. We'll let that over here. Let it steep. Just going over this stuff, this looks like it's a substantial meal. One thing I like about this, it's got multiple briquettes and it's got a resealable bag. So you can just keep them right inside here if you wished. And we'll take a couple briquettes out of there. Like we said, we still have more. Mexican peanut jalapeno M&Ms. This is going to be interesting. So this is already substantial. Then we get a bread. We get a sandwich, a multi-grain snack bread. I guess we can use our PB&J with that. 
and I didn't heat this up, which is really, really rare and off for me, just because I wanted to try this on its own, just to see how it was. And the reason I say this is a ton of stuff, looking at this soup, it's like lentil, tomato, like crushed red pepper in here. I looked at the back, it said like 250 milliliter. That's per serving. There are four servings. There is a liter of soup. That is a ginormous amount of soup, not to mention nutrients and stuff for hydration. Let's try not to pour this all. Ah, oh, yeah, it figures. Let's get some magic going on in here. So there we use the patented Kiwi Dude cleaning magic method. And if you happen to be out there, Kiwi Dude, the boss, man, we miss you guys. And, I uh, mean, at least once a week I've got somebody saying, what happened to Kiwi Dude? He needs to come back. So if you're out there watching, maybe you need to swing by for another review sometime, buddy. And finally, we have our pork and raviolis. This can is a little toasty, and we're going to use this pork provided by Kalon from our friends at Foreign MRE. Get all of this on there. I know you can't see, but that's because I am positioned behind the camera or in front of the camera. Man, I can't talk. I don't know what I'm doing. Pretty much ask anybody. I don't have a clue what I'm doing. Well, no screwing around. Let's get in here and take a look at it. Let's see some of these raviolis. Looks like we got like little bits of mushroom, little bits of carrot in there. Hmm, let's see if we got anything inside of this. And we do, little bits of meat in there. I'm assuming that's probably pork too because this is pork little raviolis. And for all you out there, I call it raviolis because that's what it says on the can, raviolis. You don't know what kind of pasta it is. Well, eh, sorry. No, I don't. Get that on there. Nice hunk of pork. If you have dietary restrictions about this, and I'm very sorry. Because this looks and smells so good. The raviolis themselves are nice and tender. The pork inside is very soft. It kind of has like this little like mushroomy type of sauce on it. And the pork, it is legit pork. It's not that processed stuff that you would get like in a USMRE. It has bites. You can actually see the striations in the meat. So when you chew on it, it gives you that nice bit of bite to it. Kind of comes apart like a real legit piece of protein product. Man, this is actually pretty tasty. Thank you, Kayla. Let's take a look at the soup. The soup smells very hearty. It does have strong overtones of lentil with just a hint of mushroom. Trying not to burn ourselves. That is a little hot. You know, try to bring this up to the camera. Like I said, mainly lentil, like little lentil specks in there. I don't really catch any of the spiciness through the crushed red pepper. There might not be enough, but I'm quite sure some of these jalapeno M&Ms might have some. But just so we can try it, I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit of, this, bit of this on a spoonful. Just so that we can try to replicate a nice... Spice. Oh, ooh. Wow. Oh, this stuff is hot and it's dripping right into my hand. I'm going to hurry up. And... Oh, that made a billion bit of difference. That gives it that nice bit of heat, that good burn. Add some of this or crushed red pepper, like legit stuff, right to it. Just the water just dilutes the flavors on everything. So if you add some special heat, man, that gives it a nice little burn, but yet... The liquid in the soup kind of helps cool it down, too. That was awesome. That was very good. Glad I decided to do that. Now, our tea over here. It's got me a little curious. I have to admit, I've never had rose hip tea before. I, 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 I don't know that it... I, oh, what the hell? Okay. I guess this happens from time to time. Well, that's what you get for filming it live. Well, let's take a look at that. Purple rose hip tea. I'm, I'm assuming that this is the color of it. Oh, that has a bold flavor to it. A fruity richness. Which I know rose hips are a fruit. They grow on a plant. Mmm. So I got like raspberry undertones. I can't really say I, don't, I think that's for me. 
think I'm more like a like a black tea. I can't say chai tea anymore. Jeez, that uh, Indian ration or that civilianized Indian ration that uh, Old Maid Drop Air sent me, man, I get still get grief over that thing. Chai tea means chai means tea. Oh, uh, well, jeez. Uh, sorry. Let's get some of these peanuts a go. I guess these were like Russian or Ukrainian, something like that. They had some Cyrillic writing on the bag. And they're just plain, they're not salted, so they have that nice peanuty flavor, which is going to taste very similar to these, because this is 90% peanuts with just like a little bit of, I believe it says, cane juice. A little bit of palm oil, just for them oils to keep this stuff nice and solvent, and just a little bit of salt. Um, try this multi grain bread. It's not snack bread. Try to bust this thing open. Well, that was different. I wasn't expecting to see anything like that on the inside. wonder if that should be troublesome and worrying. I guess maybe it's supposed to be two pieces of bread? Uh, ah. Well, I'm going to look at the bag real quick. It's just one piece, but maybe it's sliced, kind of like a pocket or something like that. It's a multi-grain dark bread. Well, I'm going to stop screwing around. I'm just going to give it a try, just all on its own. Well, the bag did say wheat flour and dark rye flour. I have to say, this stuff is way superior to that wheat crap bread. I mean, wheat snack bread. It just has more body and actually legitimately tastes like bread when you're chewing it. It's got like that nice, soft, moist springiness to it. I don't know. That wheat snack bread, man, it's like, uh... I don't know. It kind of crumbles apart and then turns into a paste. It's very weird. Very off-putting. Oh, I'm going to put just a little bit of peanut butter on this side. And then we have some of this strawberry jam from France. Or at least in RCIR type rations. And we'll take a look at that. That's why I said this is like legitimately probably two meals. Or with all that soup, probably three. That has some really good flavor to it too with the boldness of that rye. Man, that is that is pretty tasty. And now I got all those flavors, a little bit of that sweetness from the peanut butter. And of course, the sweetness from that strawberry jam. Let's give this tea a try again. Oh, these really work together. And just as a disclaimer, Kaylin put other stuff in here. She put hot chocolate, which I've got like over a 95 degree day and I'm just not having hot chocolate today. Cup of coffee. And seeing how I'm already having tea, this is like a like like kind of like an iced tea, but a peach flavored iced tea, which would go really well just adding water straight out of your canteen. And I have a lot of other recruits from I'm not putting taco sauce on this, man. I'm not I'm not doing that. This stuff tastes just perfect right on its own. And again, we got some salt and pepper and all the usual suspects to go with coffee and some more gum. And I'm going to try to pick this thing up and take another. Mmm. This actually really grows on you. Like that Turkish ration I had. Yeah, at first you're like, wow, that's kind of weird. But it, if you're adventurous in palate, I think you would really like something like this. <laughs> and just so we can do it. Just this, this added dash of this spice on here just adds so much flavor dimension to this stuff. Oh, you get that nice little fiery little burn in there. Oh, man. Get a little more of this, man. I know this is going to be all cool now. And lastly, we'll give these jalapeno peanut M&Ms a go. No screwing around. I like the colors. They're very festive. At first, they don't taste like anything like jalapeno. Any bit of spice. And then after you get done chewing them, you just get like the slightest, slightest little hint of heat down back. Not up back, down back. But then again, it's hard to tell if it came from that or it's still a residual effect from a uh, crushed red pepper inside of this. Mm. Well, I can tell you, I've had like six or seven of these viewer inspired rations and John, he made some outstanding things inside of his stuff. 
but I have to say, if I was a soldier out in the field, Natick, Natick out there, Defense Feeding Command, whoever you are, you really seriously need to contact Kalen Strain. This one was so well-rounded. You got a little bit of soft, yummy, good texture. Decent bread for once. A nice full-bodied soup. A good dessert. Nice little snack. Multiple drinks. It's hard to say where you go wrong with a ration like this. And then you get a buttload of gum with it, too. Which, if you're stuck out in the field for day in, day out, the last thing you want is two little measly briquettes of gum. You want to be able to swap that stuff out so you don't break your molars. So these are always a lot of fun to do. I always have a great time doing them. Keep sending them in if you want to. Just let me know. If you happen to send me anything, please send me an email. Contact me through Facebook and let me know that I should be expecting it at the post office. So they unfortunately don't get returned back to you if I don't pick them up in a suitable amount of time. Well, thank you everybody for watching. I really appreciate you supporting the channel. And I will see you all on my next review. Bye.